I wear pickers. Hi! So, oh, I should shut the window because there's really loud noises outside. Damn it, one second. Okay, cool. In focus, yes. Um, so hi, uh, so I am headed off to Mexico soon with my best friend um, and I thought I would do a packing video. Um, doing an introduction to this because that seems to be what people do, but yeah, um, pretty self-explanatory, let's get into it. So just a bit about our trip to Mexico, we are going to the Yucatan. So we start in Cancun and we travel immediately up to Isla Holbosch. Stay there for a few days and then we've got a five hour bus journey all the way to Merida. And then we're on to Valladolid before heading on to Tulum. And on the way here, we'll see the cenotes and the historical sites. A few days in Cozumel before back to Cancun and home. So full disclosure, this took me basically a whole afternoon to do. Um, so a few things that you'll see laid out here, I actually swap out for other stuff and don't pack. Um, and yeah, this is the gigantic lump of stuff. I'd shoved all of those nice neat piles into the backpack. <laughs> so I don't know, so I could make some room for me to sit down, but then it turned out that, you know, I was just gonna have to like reorganize them all into piles. Um, so this is me doing that. Hi! Uh, so as you can see I'm kind of surrounded by stuff for packing for my trip to Mexico. Uh, please excuse the background noise, uh, there's lawn mowing happening outside. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna film this, I think I'll do bits and pieces, um, but yeah. So let's start with tops, I've got this um, slim e-bag packing cube. Uh, into which I'm going to put this black vest from Topshop and then this white vest that comes from a dive shop that I dove with in Indonesia, really nice lightweight cotton. Then I have got this white shirt which is sleeveless, looks a little bit nicer, covers up my shoulders for the evening. It has been ironed as has this one, they just don't stay unironed which is really good for traveling you know like gonna look good with all the creases uh, then I've got this mustard vest which is also from Topshop I've got this linen really loose lightweight shirt that's good for when it's really hot from Zara I always bring that with me and then finally I've got this really light pale blue whitish vest for nice evenings out so I'm just gonna pop all of these into the packing cube uh, attempting not to crumple up the white and red shirts even more but I think that might be a lost cause so next up in another slim e-bags cube I've got dresses and bottoms there's this strappy dotty dress from H&M rolled up in there then I've got this kind of loose uh, longer sleeve linen dress again from Zara uh, that I will attempt to roll up and fit in there um, then I've got some shorts just casual shorts from H&M Da, da, da. then I've got some more shorts from and other stories slightly smarter Again, I just like, I've never realized how hard it is to keep things in frame, like major respect to YouTubers who do these overhead videos. Uh, I've then got a long, nice evening dress from ASOS that was a lot easier to roll up and pop in there, nice and bright colors. Uh, then I've got some beach shorts and scuba diving shorts from, I think they were Primark, they're really old now. I've got this little play suit from H&M, not sure if I'll wear it, but I thought it might be nice for the beach. Uh, just checking to see if it was still shut. Then I've got this skirt from Topshop that's like really loose. It used to be pleated and it lost the pleats. Um, so I take it traveling because I don't mind if it gets a bit messed up. Um, then I tried to fit my bikinis in here. Um, you'll see what happens. Basically, I'm bringing two bikinis. They're both from Freya, they're both fantastic. I've had them for ages, nice and brightly coloured. Um, then I remember, oh, I've got to put pyjamas in as well. <laughs> um, so then you'll see, this is me attempting to shut it and realising there's no way that this is going to shut. Um, so what I do next is I take out the bikinis and the pyjamas, pop the dress back in, zip that up on the side. As you can see here, this is me desperately trying to keep it shut. And then I slot the pyjamas in on top sneaky little tip for you there. Uh, then holding it down desperately, it does in the end zip up just about, you can see the tiny little gap there, done. 
Then I've got this gorgeous shoe bag I bought in India from a fair trade shop I'm just going to pop my sandals into. I have a really crazy Excel spreadsheet packing list. It's all colour coordinated, everything's put into columns and organised by category um, and I just keep an eye on it as I go along ticking off what I need, what I may have swapped in and swapped out, like originally I had a green vest and I swapped it for a black one and then just small other notes that I can keep on top of my packing. Okay, so next I've got like a cheapo packing cube I got somewhere you can see. It's like not the world's best quality. I've tried to sew it up and fix it, but it'll do for what I need it for. Uh, and then in it was a smaller packing cube and I thought, oh, hey, why don't I try fit everything into the smaller packing cube? So what you'll see here is me attempting to fit all of my leftover bits into that one. Um, and then I kind of realized, oh no, this is no way, no way is this gonna shut, <laughs> you can see here. Um, so I go back to the original plan of using the slightly larger medium sized packing cube. So just to explain what is actually going to go in here, um, we've got my travel hair dryer. That blue thing is a microfiber travel towel for my hair. Uh, the multicolored one is a sarong, my bikinis on top, and then finally some face wipes. So I printed a fresh spreadsheet uh, just to make sure I was on top of everything and realised that I hadn't actually popped in a raincoat and given that we are visiting in the rainy season I thought it'd be good to have one of those. This is just a lightweight one that you can puff all the air out of and I slot it into that medium cube there. So next up we've got my electronics. I've got a load of cables here and um, what I was looking for were two iPhone, iPad chargers, the lightning ends and my GoPro charger. Just coiling those up there and then I've got a little like Velcro toggle that keeps them all together. They're really, really helpful if you ever get any of these, save them, they're so useful for traveling. So first of all, after getting everything together, I'm gonna have a snack, you know, you gotta have some snacks while you're packing. And then we will freeze frame just to go through this. I've got a selfie stick for the vlogs, obviously. Then a normal adapter. And then next up, I've got this USB adapter, which is amazing. Um, it means that you can just bring your cables and you don't have to bring plugs to plug into adapter plugs. And it's really helpful. Um, then I've got a multi-country all-in-one adapter, which again is fantastic. All of the little prongs kind of slide up. So it's just this all-in-one box. Uh, and then I've got my Canon charger there for my batteries. So the reason I bring the all-in-one charger as well as the others is because my Canon charger only plugs into a wall, it doesn't have a USB adapter, and my hair dryer, which I know a hair dryer is kind of a luxury item, but I've got loads of very thick hair, so I have to bring a plug for that. Um, so then what I've just added there is a clip for my GoPro so it can clip onto my backpack and then the yellow thing is what I screw onto my GoPro when I'm underwater so I can make sure that I'm holding it at least a little bit steadier than normal. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to fit them all in this lovely little batik wash bag that I got in Malaysia. I use wash bags as packing cubes for my non-clothes items. Um, I took out the selfie stick and the scuba stick uh, and I ended up putting the selfie stick in my carry-on which you'll see later on in the video and then as you can see here I just slot the scuba stick into that bigger packing cube because it still has quite a bit of space. So let's go through most of the toiletries that I'm going to bring with me. There's some masking tape for plasters, a bag of feminine hygiene items, some wet wipes, Gorilla Tape, uh, then I've got a bandage and a safety pin there, some exfoliating acid for dry skin, which is really good, a little sewing kit, uh, then I've got some antiseptic cream, always important to bring with you, uh, suntan lotion for my face, uh, then some melanin plasters, um, then I've got a bigger suntan lotion for my body, a tiny little packet of tissues there, reef safe suntan lotion, very important, very expensive, uh, suntan lotion for my face again, I get through it quite quickly, and then in this little bag is where I keep all my plasters, so I'll put those melanin ones in here along with normal plasters, always good to bring tons of plasters, um, some antibacterial wipes, a deodorant, crucial, 
uh, some mosquito spray I've lost the cap for a bar of soap in like a bag so it doesn't get all gross and messed up in my toiletry bag and then in this little drawstring bag I've got things like um, some razors some painkillers some uh, like Dioralite and tummy tablets in case we get a bit sick um, yeah and they all just go in there I mean as I say you could never have too many plasters so I try to have plasters everywhere I have learned this from experience um, and yeah that all just stays in this little drawstring bag that's easy to pop inside a larger one then some mozzie bands then some disposable toothbrushes I found while packing which are slightly different to the ones at the beginning but I've got more of these so happy to throw them away some travel wash for washing your clothes in the sink some cotton pads for using skincare with uh, my makeup I will need to buy a new BB cream before I go uh, then I've got an organic hand sanitizer from Dr Bronner which is really helpful because it's a spray and then this mini razor in a little case so yeah, um, this is me attempting to fit everything in. Um, it took ages. <laughs> Very much a kind of um, Tetris sort of practice here. I ended up buying two of those face wipe packs. I had one in the medium pouch thing that you saw earlier and one here and then I was kind of like I'm not actually going to wear that much makeup so I took one of them out and I've just kept it at home for day-to-day -day use here and then yeah the rest of the time this is just me attempting to Tetris everything together. You'll see I also pop in a second pack of wet wipes just because I think they're really helpful and then a travel bandage that goes around your ankle for when you're doing a lot of walking which doesn't take up a lot of room thankfully. I was going through all of my travel boxes and drawers where I keep everything I found this tiny tube of travel toothpaste and some shampoo and conditioner samples so I swapped out my big toothpaste for that one and then it turned out I was sitting on the roll of bandages I spent ages trying to find them so this is me just trying to shove those in the side there and I just about make it slightly worried it's gonna burst open but there we go so I have an Osprey Farpoint 55, the main bag is 40 litres, I absolutely love this bag, best buy ever, hugely recommended, um, yeah it's seen me through some great travels. Um, so this is me just attempting to finagle everything in, found a random pencil on the inside there. Um, yeah it's basically a game of Tetris as you'll know if you've done this before, um, I'm just trying to like shove everything in here. Um, so you'll see yeah I've just got a, the tiny little one there that's just got my underwear and stuff in it um, and then yeah it's you know not as full as it could be uh, those are just some pop socks that I've got there and then this is the bag I take with me it expands outwards so I can put my camera and stuff in it I use it on a day-to-day -day basis um, yeah I mean it looks like it's absolutely rammed um, and I'm sure there could be less stuff in there oh that's my dry bag that I'm gonna take with me for when I go diving um, yeah there's you know there could be more room but it's not as bad as it is and just knowing this bag it expands so much this is it at it's like smallest setting if that makes sense um so I've still got a lot of room if I accidentally buy too many souvenirs um so yeah I'm just kind of trying to refinagle everything that's a little laundry bag with my name on my mum got me and then that's a backpack cover that I later decide is actually going to go in my carry-on rather than in here so yeah I'm just trying to like zip everything up and get it shut at this point. <laughs> So all of the stuff kind of left over has either been decided to not bring, despite the packing list, um, or is going in the carry-on. So what I'm trying to do at the moment, you see, is just trying to find all the different bits that I need to go into my carry-on. Um, here I am, sort of like <laughs> trying to make a decision. Uh, here we go. So what we've got there um, is all the stuff piling up uh, that I'm going to put inside my carry-on for safekeeping. Um, I say all of the stuff, the makeup bits I think I'm going to use this week uh, for work and then repack with me. A single travel sock there, don't worry, I find the other one later. Um, and then yeah, I'm just sort of like very carefully piling everything up 
Um, next up, I'm just going off what I have found and what needs to be put back in again on the list, you know, making those little amends as I go through. Um, I realised I hadn't got the guidebook anywhere, which is pretty fundamental. Uh, all the circles are things that either I need to do or find or buy, but otherwise nearly everything is sorted. I want to buy a new moisturiser, which is one of those circles. I remember that, don't worry, I write a to-do list later. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gathering all of my tech and stuff before getting into it. So the next decision is which carry-on bag to take. I've got this Osprey Nebula 36 litres which has got loads of pockets and then the blue one on the left actually attaches to my uh, 40 litre bag which is it makes up the rest of the 55 litres. Um, I ended up going with the 36 litre just because the pockets help me keep organised on a plane. Uh, there we go, I'm just rolling up my travel socks and popping my sunglasses in the side which immediately fall out. So I end up using the travel socks to kind of keep them in place and secure. Then next I'm just putting in a spare outfit, so I've always got an outfit in my carry on there, uh, found some tweezers and a hairband, very helpful. Then I'm just figuring out which uh, red filter is best to take with me. Red filters are useful on GoPros because they help equalise colour when you go under the water because it gets a bit funny the further down you go. So I was just googling there and slotting that onto the GoPro ready to go before putting the other ones um, safe elsewhere because I'm not going to bring them with me. So then next up I am taking old broken headphones out of my headphone case and trying to find the new headphones that I bought for this trip, they're just cheaper ones, they go in the top. That manual pink thing there is a camera that I got for my birthday which has a pink filter on it which is really cool, I thought that would be fun to bring with me. And then I'm just slotting in some lollipops which help me chill out when I'm on a plane uh, and they're good for you know making sure your ears pop when you're taking off and landing. Then that's uh, some bubbles and my selfie stick going in the pocket there next to the pens. And then that blue thing has all of my memory cards in and the cardboard box stores my Canon camera batteries. So then next is going in like my wallet, my passport wallet um, and my dive log is just going into that little case there. I use those cases to store like receipts and souvenirs, some wet wipes, uh, then some little tissues there and then just in the back. I've put my zoom lens, that pink thing is my travel journal, the felt one has my iPad and then the guidebook. Uh, so then you'll see I've got a sketchbook, um, some watercolours and some pencils and lead and a little notebook which just go neatly in this drawstring bag there. Um, then I've got my umbrella down the side, that little blue thing which I didn't really show is an expanding lock um, which I really help, they like expand out so you can lock your bag to poles so if you need to get up you can leave it and no one can nick it off you. Just rejigging the guidebook so it's a little bit more evenly spaced. Then that big thing there is my dive computer. You'll see I popped that electronics wash bag in next to the zoom lens. I decided to put it in there, keep it with me in my carry-on so I've got everything with me. And I'm just sorting out um, the liquids I'm going to take on the plane. So this is in a, I mean it is a too big Ziploc bag but I'll get a better one at the airport. So I've got a little roll-on perfume, that hand sanitizer and one of the face lotions. The other one as you saw earlier went in the toiletries bag and then I've just got a third one on the floor there. Then this black thing is a kimono I'm debating taking with me but that's it for my carry-on. So next up I'm just zipping on the little 15 litre bag onto the bigger 40 litre backpack. I'm bringing it with me because it's really easy to compress like it just clips on here and then goes flat and it will be really helpful to have a little rucksack with us for taking around the monuments like Chichen Itza when we want to bring like bottles of water and other stuff with us. But as you can see it clips on and compresses down and then that is it for my packing. I said I'd do a to-do list, just got a few ad mini bits to do, sort out buying some more ebooks, uh, format my memory cards, buy a new BB cream, a few more printouts, uh, but otherwise I am almost ready. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Um, yeah, it's not too heavy. I think it's weighing in at about 10 kilograms let's check hang on one second let's go check okay this is going to be so hard to do one-handed right okay so oh <laughs> uh on hook do the thing are we at zero no we're not at zero oh god so it's on 
it's on. I can I can do this. And then we have you. And then no 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 no. Okay okay yes yes genius brilliant okay so zero go back to zero zero okay oh my god okay okay so i slowly overestimated it's about 11 kilos oh cool i left it recording fun <laughs> okay so yeah that's about 11 kilograms um what was i saying yeah, so <laughs> that was my packing video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I pack. Um, I know I pack probably a bit more than the cool, minimal uh, backpackers, um, but because I've got OCD, I bring like a few more toiletries and bits to make sure that I feel comfortable. Um, and yeah, I'm going with my best friend, so I wanted to wear some like cute dresses. Uh, but yeah, like it's only a 40 liter backpack, so it's not a massive backpack. And yeah, I've got a few more bits to do, but they're pretty admin -y. Yeah, this has been kind of a rambly ending. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos and I will see you guys soon. Bye. How do I turn it off? Okay, there we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Coming up soon are my vlogs from India, so make sure you're sticking around.